And I've heard stories that uh, when you were growing up, before you got into jujitsu, before you came into the United States, you were actually, as a kid, selling candy on the streets. Yeah. T -t -t Tell us a little bit about that, if you don't mind. No, for sure. It's, it's, uh, because, like, uh, how you guys know, like, it's kind, in Brazil, it's kind of hard, you know, to, like, be athlete, be, you know, compared to, and I always want to compete, you know, the tournaments, my, my, but my parents don't have a condition, you know, to, to pay my things. And I start, I, with my wife, uh, now is my wife, but at that time, just my girlfriend. We have the idea of she's made, uh, she's made brigadiers, is a Brazilian cane. And she's made that and I start, she's made and I start selling the streets, you know, like door to door. And yeah. all, all for a dream, you know, like I knew that that is going to be a part of my history. And was there, man, sell a lot of like, uh, you know, brigadiers in the street, like go door to door. And always thank god always was support for people from that you know like they always help me buy my things sometimes i do like uh, in brazil i don't know uh, i do quentinha uh it's like i sell food too you know like we make a day and we sell yeah. a lot of like uh food to we deliver to their home you know all yeah. to help me come and compete on the awards in 2017 play my tournament you know all these things so how, oh, and how, how, how old are you uh, right now, Pedro? No, I'm 25 now. 25. Okay. And so yeah. you're relatively young, but back in 2017, you, you were wanting to fight in the world jiu-jitsu tournament. Is that right? Yeah. Like, uh, I, like say, when I moved to Purgisa, that I start, I, I, first I sell things to compete on Rio, you know, yeah. like on my city. And when I start winning tournaments on my city, I went to another states, and the United states I went to, and then I was I was able to win the Brazilian nationals. You know, for the first time, was well, my first Brazilian nationals 2015. I was a fresh blue belt, and then I win as a purple, and I win as uh, as a purple belt. I win, and it was like, okay, man, I win the Brazilian nationals, but now I won the awards. You know, the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Brazil, Brazilian nationals is big, you know, it's like, yeah, it's sure. like the words is one of the tough tournaments and I win six times and I say now I need, you know, like go and look for something bigger than the Brazilian nationals and what's the words? I didn't have any idea about United States, these things, you know, yeah. was kind of, I remember people from Philippe Purgis that helped me a lot on this process. First, I have my visa denied, you know, I didn't was able to come on the first part of the year. And then I wait a little and I apply again, was accepted. Then I will come here. I fought the awards in 2017 as a purple belt. Yeah. I get third place in my division, third place in open class. And then the following year, 2018, I come to fight again as a purple belt and I win my division. And then 2000, end of 2018, I moved to, to America. Like I had this opportunity to come from uh, to Greece, Barroa Nice. And I want.